but um can, I'm like can i leave this here i don't think i should should i be spending money right now i don't think i should but i can't leave it here either so it's a battle it's fine <clears throat> hey everyone welcome back to my channel so are you joking So today we are going to be doing, what am I talking about? Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is yet another haul. Um, I went, I didn't buy anything like super crazy, but I bought a few things these past two weeks. Probably shouldn't have bought it because I don't have any money to be buying it. However, here we are. Um, I'm going to show you guys things that I got. Same two thrift stores that I always go to, Body World and Goodwill. And... These are obviously still kind of fall winter focused. Um, it's November now, so we're moving into even colder, almost winter type of weather. So I got some some winter type wear. So also the sun is popping today. So we're gonna get right into it. I got some really cute stuff. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start with Goodwill first. Not for any reason in particular, but um, I got a few things from there. To start, the first thing that I got, oh, hold on. also, I'm sure that you, there's hella particles like floating around back here because I'm ruffling around all these clothes and stuff. So just ignore those if you see little particles fly past the, the lens. It's okay. Um, the first thing that I got is this white button up shirt. It is just a basic, simple white button up. I don't have one of these. It's long sleeve. And it's a regular collared shirt, but it's fitted. It's not like super oversized. It's not, it's like a perfect size for me. Perfect layering size. I can wear it under lots of stuff. Sweater vests, sweaters. It, that's, I just wanted a tighter one because I have like a short sleeve button up that I showed um, in my outfits video. But that's like huge. It was like a size like extra large. This is a size extra small. And it was only $5. I still have all the prices on these ones. So it's from Goodwill. I got it for this much. And it's very, very cute. Very simple, but like a staple for my style and was necessary for my wardrobe. So next thing from Goodwill is, um, I don't know what you would call this. It's some sort of like over shirt, I guess. Not sure, but... Um, I have like, this is like the fourth one of these that I have. It's a textured, um, kind of over shirt type thing that looks like this. It has this kind of animal print stuff on it, like zebra, cheetah type prints on it. And it's, the base of it is black and the decorations are brown and like a silvery. Dog, stop barking. So it has those colored details on it. It was originally $3.99, but it was um, half off green tags. So whatever half $3.99 is, <laughs> um, around two-ish dollars um, for this. And it's just long sleeve. It has a collar on it, which I think is super cute. This um, is a size large. This layered on top of that white button up is so, so cute. I'm excited to wear that outfit. I already put the whole outfit together and I've only had these for like two days. But yeah, super cute. Um... And it's like a textured, textured type of fabric, which I think is cool. I love finding textured pieces. I think that they're very different. Um, and I think they add some extra something to an outfit. Next, uh, I got a skirt. I'm aware that it's cold, like getting chilly outside, but I got a skirt anyway. Because I plan on wearing it with boots. Um, I got this. It's by Anne Klein. I got this black floral skirt it's hard to show you the whole thing but it has all these really really nice ruffles along the bottom and it's also asymmetrical so one side's longer than the other side <clears throat> you'll see it better in the try on clip but so cute i don't know if i even showed you guys the ralph lauren floral skirt that i got if i didn't i'm gonna have that in my um what's in my closet video that i'm gonna be doing in a few weeks so, well, I'll be showing like the designer brands that I've thrifted and things in my closet that are designer brands. Um, I'll show you guys in it there. It's sort of similar to this though, but this one has a black base, which is so cute because now I can wear it with my black boots. So I'm excited to style this for winter slash 
fall like i'm gonna wear boots i could layer a sweater like a black sweater or even something that's kind of this maroon reddish color i'm excited to play around with this or even tan because all those colors are in this skirt very excited to play around with it it's a size four which is kind of my size i float between a size four and a size six depending on the pieces that i'm talking about so this one is a size four very cute love ruffles ruffles are like one of my favorite type of uh styled skirts i guess ruffle skirts <laughs> i think i actually only have one more thing from goodwill one more thing left and it's a sweater Ooh. is it no i have two things left so it's a sweater um and it looks like this it's a black sweater but i'm pretty sure somebody painted on it which worries me a little bit because now i'm not sure how i'm gonna wash it because i don't want the paint to come out if i wash it that would suck so i'm gonna have to figure that out but um it's a black v-neck sweater that somebody painted all of these animals on or like flowers and elephants so cute i think there's a rhino on the front an elephant what well, looks like a gazelle type animal and then on the back there's also more flowers another gazelle and it's just this really pretty painting that somebody did on it and stuff for some reason stuff like this really draws my eye um i'm sure you guys have seen my bird purse that i've shown in a few videos somebody hand painted a bird and like a whole scene on the side of that purse and I, that really caught my eye and made me want to get it this is a size medium this on top of that white button up like the white button up is just such a staple i could wear that under I can wear that under anything and it will look nice um so yeah this would be super cute i got this for 7.99 7.99 very cute i love stuff that's like personalized and the fact that somebody actually painted down there means that it's literally probably one of a kind like 100 percent one of one not gonna find something else like that anywhere else last thing from goodwill is a vest a really really nice vest but I mean, it looks like this. So cute and loud. <laughs> it's this. It's a, sort of like a patchwork vest with all these different types of fabrics kind of smushed together. It looks like some velvets, some lace. You have some sort of satiny looking color uh, fabrics as well, and it's kind of. Um, I, I don't know the specific name if I could, if I look it up I'll put it right here but the traditional like Chinese styled uh, dresses or, or shirts it kind of gives me that kind of vibe because of how the neckline is and then the buttons like these are the type of buttons that are usually used in that type of um, clothing which I think is a cool touch the back is just uh, velvet and has sort of a little miniature version of the design on it very very cute love this um, this laid on top of black is how I plan on wearing it. Um, I still haven't fully figured out the outfit yet, but this layer on top of some something nice in black underneath, whether it's a turtleneck or a sweater, something along the lines of one of those, I think that it'll be so uh oh cute. Where is the tag? There's I got it for $5.99. Yeah. I really, really like this. Like out of all my goodwill stuff, the button-up shirt. I, I lied I like all my Goodwill stuff everything that I got from Goodwill was like and I wasn't even supposed to be shopping for myself when I went of course but it's very hard for me to go in there and not shop around a little bit my eye kind of it like stuff literally just catches my eye out the corner of my eye I don't even have to literally be sifting through racks like I'll just see a pattern or I'll see something on I just see like the pattern or, or something that'll catch my eye and then I have to go see what it is and then if I like it then I'm like can I leave this here I don't think I should should I be spending money right now I don't think I should but I can't leave it here either so it's a battle it's fine now we're gonna move on to the stuff that I got from value world I rave about value world on here all the time uh, I rave a little bit less about Goodwill, but I've been finding the cheapy pieces from Goodwill lately. But Value World is really where it's at. Um, I spent way, way, way too much money there, but it's okay. I got some cute, like super cute things. We're going to get into that. 
I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands. <laughs> First thing from Value World. By far, one of my favorite things that I got. Ugh, I got this little cropped vest. So it's kind of like a, like a, I don't want to say blazer or suit jacket necessarily, but it's just a vest and it's, it's by this brand. Don't know the brand. Never really know the brand. It was $8.20. Couldn't leave it. $8 is kind of a lot. Could not leave it though, because look at it. It's this really cute red color, has black detailing um, on the whole thing. The buttons are gold and black. Very cute, and it's cropped, like it's above the waist, which I think is super cute. <laughs> so I had to get it. And none of the pockets are real, which is, you know, whatever. I love it though. This is a very standout piece for me, I think. Um, I think that this will really draw some sort of attention. It looks really, it's very red. It's kind of hard to see because the, the light is coming down so harshly. Maybe I should. That might be better. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. <laughs> um, but it's this nice red color, like I said, and I love the black detailing. It kind of has a, I don't want to say literal color black, but just the, the harshness from the red to the black, I think is a really nice contrast. But like I said, that was eight dollars. Very, very cute. Next thing I got is a sweater. Very interesting sweater. It was six dollars and twenty cents. Um, and it is this <laughs> this butterfly collared sweater. Very, very interesting looking. I will say it's like a soft sweater fabric. It has a collar on it, and then it has this embroidered butterfly design up the front. Very cute. <laughs> it's a cream color. And the, the material of the sweater kind of gives me like uh, Christmas vibes, like Christmas sweater vibes. Or when you're in like elementary school and you have to wear certain clothes for picture day. <laughs> um, the, 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 <laughs> the sleeves have um, the maroon detailing there as well as on the collar. I love this. My sister said it kind of gives her like school teacher vibes, like elementary school teacher vibes. And I said, absolutely. I, if you guys watched my um, last outfits video, I had an outfit with my golf sweater and my like school teacher heel loafers and my ruffle socks. I will wear the heel loafers and the ruffle socks with this sweater. I might even wear the same pants and just switch out the sweater. Um, and switch out, yeah, switch out the sweater for that. But I love this. I think that the the uh, print and the fabric and everything is just ugly enough for me to want it. <laughs> and this is the brand. I don't know this brand, but you get the idea. I love it. I'm a sucker for embroidery as well as like cable knit detail. I don't know if you can even see that. There it is, like cable knit type detail. Love that. But like I said, it was just nuts enough for me to want to get it. <laughs> Next thing is a shirt that was $5. And it's just this mesh animal print shirt. Somehow I've always find myself getting animal print things. This dog is barking and that is so irritating to me. Like we're gonna ignore it and act like it's not there but like you can hear it. I hear it. Whatever. It's this animal print um, mesh like fully mesh long sleeve shirt. It's not cropped or anything. It's full length and I'm gonna have to play around with it on the styling end but I think that it's really cute. It has like tans um, orangish maroon colors in it i like the neutral tones a lot it has um lettuce hem on the sleeves and along the bottom it's just a, a basic v-neck type uh, mesh shirt that i'm planning on layering a little bit um probably with leather of some sort <laughs> because i love me some leather um but yeah it was only five dollars so i said mm, why not the next thing I got is a bit different than my usual style, but it is something that I've been looking for at the thrift store. So it's um obviously you know like the the Y2K more street style vibe uh, clothes with the crazy prints on it or um Ed Hardy type. Still haven't found any Ed Hardy. I'm gonna find some though. I just don't know when. My time has not come, but I'm definitely gonna find some sometime. Um, but it kind of gives me that type of vibe. Um, it's this black long sleeve type, but it has this interesting graphic on the front. And then it says Warriors, I think. It says True Warrior on the front. And then it, it kind of has that busy print. 
and then underneath it like attached to it, it has like thermal sleeves with words on it i don't know what it says it gives a layering effect even though they're attached to it it makes it look like you have a different shirt on underneath but um i don't know what drew me to this i thought that it looked kind of cool so i got it <laughs> Um, I already know exactly how I'm going to wear it, which is good. Um, if I literally can't see how I'm going to style something, then I won't get it because I know that it will just come and sit in my room and I'll never wear it. I did think this one through and I probably will take Insta pics in that outfit, but I got it. It was cute. It was only um, $5.80. Next thing I got from Goodwill is a scarf. I mean, sorry, Value World. Um, it was $1.40 and it's this knitted sort of a tassel scarf. Sadly, I didn't realize until I got home, it is damaged um, here and it's coming loose. So I'm going to try to use my, um, use some yarn and sew it closed so that it doesn't completely unravel. But I think that is very cute, very different. This picture right here um, is from my Pinterest and it kind of reminded me of like when I saw the scarf I said I kind of want to style something like that which is what made me get it and the colors are so nice it's like this nice pink and purple mixture I like the colors together and I think the tassel is really nice as well so I'm just gonna wear it like wrapped around my neck I'm gonna go grab my other camera battery because it's blinking red be right back so I'm back now sorry if the camera is in a different spot <laughs> but carrying on with the stuff from value world there are only two more things. This one is a sweater. It was $5.20 and it's quite wacky. Um, it's just black, has black sleeves. The back is completely solid. And then the front has this striped design on it. I don't know what this is. It's knitted of some sort, but it looks like this. It has all these different colors on it. It's a V-neck sweater. Picture this over top of the white button up too and it will be very cute. So um, I was fighting back and forth with myself, deciding whether or not I was going to get this sweater. And I, and I said, I'm just going to buy it because the reason I picked it up is because I liked it and I don't want to risk um, wishing. Like, I don't want to regret leaving it there and wish that I had got it. So I just bought it anyway. It was only $5. And it's cute. Um, yeah, I liked the uh, colors in it a lot. I think that it was really loud in that sense. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I really like loud, out-of-the-box looking clothes. <laughs> Um, developing that style took me a little bit of a while, but here I am. Last thing in this haul is another sweater. One of my favorite sweaters. I got this, um, quarter, sort of quarter button, like quarter zip, but not zipper. <laughs> um, brown, sort of brown and black, like sort of marble type sweater. Love of it. It was how much was it? It was $5.20 and it just looks like this. It has the brown and black and then on the um, collar it has this red and black detail as well as on this pocket and around the wrists and the bottom and it just has buttons on it. I'm excited to style this because I will wear it kind of um, in a cozy type of style. Like I will wear it with a t-shirt. This white t-shirt I have on under here is really boxy and it has a, a long, uh, a wide neckline, like giving me very Y2K undershirt vibes. And I absolutely love that about this because I can layer it under sweaters and it kind of just peeks through here or there. And I think that it's a nice touch. So I'll wear this shirt under there just to have it kind of peeking through the front. And then I can wear that with dark wash jeans. I can wear it with baggy jeans or tighter jeans. I can wear it with Uggs. It's just very versatile in that way. And I think I could even dress it up if I tried, which is always a plus for me so yeah that was a really cute sweater that was actually one of the first sweaters that i saw when i walked in and i said oh that's cute also my sister likes sweaters like this as well so i was like we both can kind of wear it i mean it's still mine but she can wear it if she wants to wear it um and that is everything from value world so that is all for this video today everybody i hope you guys enjoyed watching i know that i've been getting a lot of love on my thrift haul videos lately which i'm so grateful for if you have not subscribed to my channel yet make sure that you do that i do thrift haul videos often i do styling videos outfit videos all of the fashion sort um also make sure that you hit this up uh, what am i talking about i just said that 
Also, make sure that you turn on post notifications to get notified every time that I post a new video. All of my social media will be at the beginning of this video, at the end of this video, and in the description box down below. So make sure you follow me to keep up with me. Also, make sure that you give this video a like. Comment down below any videos you might want to see from me in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!